Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Johnson, a physician specializing in blood cancers. Welcome back to the CLL Collaborate series from the Patient Empowerment Network. And I'm Joseph, Dr. Johnson's patient. Today, we will be discussing an important topic, CLL clinical trials. We will talk about what clinical trials are, their role in advancing research, and how patients may benefit from participation. Let's get started. Clinical trials are research studies that involve patients, and the goal is to find better ways to prevent, diagnose, or treat diseases. They are essential for advancing medical knowledge and for bringing new treatments to patients. Thanks, Dr. Johnson. And how exactly do clinical trials move research forward? Good question. Clinical trials provide critical data on the safety and effectiveness of new treatments. They also help researchers understand how different therapies work in diverse groups of people and ensure treatments work well and do not cause harm to humans before they become widely available. Early phase clinical trials are used to determine the treatment safety, while the latter phases investigate how effective the therapy is in managing a specific condition. And how can CLL patients benefit from participating in clinical trials? Well, Joseph, participating in a clinical trial can provide access to new options that are not yet available to the public. Patients also receive high-quality care from the clinical trial healthcare team, as they are very closely monitored throughout the study, and participation contributes to the advancement of medical research, potentially benefiting future patients. That makes sense. When we reviewed my treatment options, you suggested several trials that could be a good fit for me and we discuss the pros and cons. So what should patients ask their team before joining a clinical trial? Let's walk through several important questions to ask your healthcare team. What trials do you recommend for me and why? What is the purpose of the trial? What treatments and tests will I receive during the trial? What are the potential risks and benefits? Are there resources to help me learn more about the trial? How might this trial affect my daily life? Will I need to travel for treatment or tests? Finally, how long will the trial last and what happens after it ends? Discuss these questions with your healthcare team to determine if a clinical trial is the right option for you. I also want to note that clinical trials are voluntary and patients can decide to leave a trial at any time. The informed consent process educates participants about all potential risks and benefits and reviews their rights. Remember, you are at the center of your care. Joseph, can you share advice for patients as they learn more about trials and advocate for better care? I'd be happy to. Here are some additional steps to help you feel confident when considering clinical trials. First, educate yourself. Understand the basics of clinical trials and how they work. It's important to gather your information using credible sources, like the Patient Empowerment Network and the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Next, write down questions. Prepare a list of questions to ask your healthcare team, and download the guide that accompanies this video to review the questions Dr. Johnson suggested. Additionally, discuss goals. Be clear about your treatment goals and ensure you've had all your questions answered before making a decision. Bring support. Have a loved one join you for appointments or discussions to help take notes and to provide support. Finally, stay informed. Keep up with the latest research and advancements in CLL treatments. As I mentioned, PEN and LLS are great sources of information. These are excellent tips, Joseph. Thank you everyone for joining us. For more information and valuable resources, visit PowerfulPatients.org CLL.